All right, guys, you know how much I talk about hydration and how important it is when you're out mowing your lawns or doing your cleanups. You know my favorite hydration drink. And finally, today's video is going to be sponsored by none other than Drip Drop. It finally had... What? Uh, they said no. Why? I thought you talked to them. They said you suck. You said, oh my God, they're going to sponsor us. No, I said, oh my God, they're going to sue us. They said that? Who? The lawyer from Drip Drop. Why would they want to sue us? Again, they said you suck. Well, maybe I'll start promoting that garbage at uh, Liquid IV or, you know what? Maybe I'll really go to the bottom of the barrel and uh, promote that Prime, you know, from them Paul, I don't know, brother Paul Brothers or something, whatever. Man, I hope Tyson knocks that dude's head off. I can't stand him. November 15th, Netflix. Mike Tyson's going to kill him. Anyway, um, never mind. Guess not. All right, all right. What's going on, everyone here in here? Clean Cuts Lawn Care. It is Monday morning. I'm just now leaving the dump. As you can see, leaf season is here. There are a ton of leaves here. So, uh, today, man, it's, it's going to rain for like an hour, it's saying. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not actually doing any jobs today. Um, I do have a ton to get done, though. I need to um, go pick up some boards and 2x4s, some screws, I think some washers, um, and I got to look for, look for some stakes. Instead of um, concreting that uh, carport down, I'm going to try to attach wood to the legs and screw it down to the woods, the wood, drill holes into the wood, and then run stakes down into the ground. Um, I think that would help. All right, <clears throat> I got the uh, plywood and the two by fours to extend the sidewalls. Uh, now I use this very thin plywood for my sidewalls. That way there's less weight. So these are the same wood that I already have for the uh, sidewalls that are going on. But man, I was gonna raise the sidewalls by two feet all the way around. I would have needed an additional like $85 worth of uh, plywood and I, just, I wasn't going to do that. Some There's a, oh I bet it's right, see that U-Haul truck right there? Um, some guy just ordered a shit ton of wood, like pallets of it or whatever it comes on and um, he uh, he asked for it to be delivered and they can't get it there in time so he went and got that u-haul truck right there i don't know why they're all the way over there they need to be over here so he said uh he asked you know, can you know can the guys bring it out and all this other stuff they just told him they don't have anyone to bring it out to him and he already paid for it all he was uh he was right behind me and you know, as I was like moving all my stuff, I heard the conversation. <clears throat> I don't know why he's all the way down there. And he's right on those snow blowers. Like he's gonna back right into them. All right, so they're, uh, I just seen them. They're wheeling out individual pieces of wood like on them carts I had and loading them by hand uh, i heard the guy say he he ordered the wood on friday and uh they told him they couldn't have it delivered today and he said the i heard him say the next available delivery date was like later in the week but he needed it today so he said no problem he said i, I understand he said i have a u-haul truck here i just need um the wood brought outside and you know hopefully we can put the start putting it in there and the woman goes oh there's no one here to do that well 
No one's there that can drive a damn forklift in the whole store? Holy smokes. Uh, I'll show you guys something really cool here. Let me see. I was further up the road. I'll have to edit this little drive out. I, I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's more of an Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio legend. Uh, Drew Carey. This is his home right here. So this is his childhood home. And um, I, I guess, I don't know if when his mother passed away or whatever, he um, bought the house, retained it, and he put a pool in the backyard that's like the shape of his glasses. And there was there used to be all kinds of reports about the parties he would have over there. Like, I don't know, all kinds of lesbian parties and <laughs> having like huge orgies out on the pool deck I, I don't know that's just what the reports were but um that's a, that is his house though for sure he went to the high school right down the road here Rhodes High School so I don't know just thought you guys would find it interesting get these batteries plugged in Get this extension cord going for the saw. Okay, let's go see how this will work out. Perfect. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. All right, there's my eight pieces I need.
All right, these are the spikes that I'll be using to secure it to the ground. So let's take a look here. That looks like that might work. Uh, we'll try it on a scrap piece of wood. I don't know if this battery's strong enough, honestly. Yeah, it should be okay. Nope. So we're gonna have to go all the way up to here. That'll work because I'll be able to knock it in from there. Yeah, I can knock it in from there and the top would be nice and tight. Okay, we're going to try it right there. I guess a battery would probably, it would probably help me to have a battery there. See, cause if I didn't put washers on here, the heads aren't big enough. They would go right through here. Okay, that's on there. Now let's see if we can get a stake in the ground because that's pretty hard. I left one, uh, one of the landscaping bricks on just because of the wind right now. I'll take it off last. I got uh, the carport secured down, two spikes per board, um, and the feet are screwed into the boards. And then I lowered the tarp and I added two of these and attached them to the spikes to keep that tarp lower. So I think that's gonna be fine. Um, and if that don't work, then, you know, concrete would be the only option. But I really think that's going to be fine. It's pretty sturdy. So I'll tell you what, this alone kicked my ass. All right, I'm going to try to get some of this done right now. I and mean, I'm pretty tired. That was a lot of work. But uh, I'd like to get some of this out of the way. against the mesh to hold the washers in place. Well, let's see how this fits first. There we 
we go. Perfect. So I have to move some of the holes where I have the bolts because of course they don't line up because the trailer's different, you know? See, I don't want it to tear up the, uh, It's going to be hard to get those on. Uh, not great because the mesh is loose up there but uh it's gonna hold it ain't going nowhere it's secure so let me get the other side 
All right, I got the first part up. Wow, look how much bigger that is. You know, compared to my old trailer. That's gonna be so helpful. Having that much more room. So, now I just gotta put the extensions on. going crazy right now.
almost there. Just one more extension and we'll have all that room for cleanups. Woo! All right, that's it. So that's quite a bit of room up here. I wanted to raise the walls two feet. But like I said, I, I wasn't gonna spend that extra, whatever it was gonna be, 80, 90 bucks. That was just gonna be too much. I just gotta take this off here and we're all good. This is taking all day. I didn't think this was gonna take so damn long, honestly, but it is what it is. All right trying to get everything cleaned up now so I can get out of here this took this took forever <sighs> securing that building took a long time I had to add like I said well I showed it already but I had to add uh, these little bungees that actually you know connect all this had extras I had to add them to lower that tarp down some you know so snow's not really getting up under there um, I had to do a lot of modifications for the side walls because where the bolts were on the already built walls, they didn't fit into the slots. Plus I knew the washers weren't gonna be big enough. And even if they were big enough for the mesh, I didn't want them tearing the mesh up. So I had to cut this little, these little wood washers to use with the washers um, that I was already using. You can see a lot of, I had a lot of cutting. A lot of cutting I had to make. So all this is scrap.